Hello. Well, uh, today, as I uh, said last week, I am going to talk about the 39 steps, um, uh, starring Richard Donat and um, uh, Madeline Carroll. Um, in short, this film is uh, about a man who has to go on the run after being accused of murder uh, of a woman who he finds out is a uh, agent and uh, is being pursued to, you know, basically silenced. And um, she tells him about thir the 39 steps and he doesn't know what that means. And uh, anyway, he goes from being in England to Scotland and um, along the way he meets a woman named Pamela, played by Adeline Carroll. Um, from a film in the spy story, uh, you know, it's a very, uh, very, 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 uh, uh, excellent movie. Um, this is definitely one of the, I would say probably one of the best known, uh, Hitchcock films of the 1930s, um, well, the man who knew too much is, uh, would be known to the extent of being, you know, remade with James Stewart. Um, this is a film, it was, uh, yeah, um, based on a book that was written by the man John, uh, Bachan? Bachan? No, I probably just, uh, <laughs> butcher that name, um, who wrote the, uh, uh, North by Northwest, which I've seen, and, um, yeah, this is a very, uh, a very well done film, you know, very much a, a thriller that, that, you know, that Hitchcock is, of course, known for, um, Robert Donat, uh, probably best known for Goodbye, Mr. Chips, um, but he, uh, but, you know, he, he does a, an excellent job in this film, you know, being pursued and how, you know, you know, he has to prove his innocence and yet, you know, of course, being in, like, uh, Scotland, you know, they, uh, of course, aren't, uh, so sure they, uh, you know, they don't really believe him, obviously, and just from how, Everything uh, comes about. It, it's it's uh, an incredible film from beginning to end. It's uh, you know, yeah, you know, no doubt it's uh, a film that you know you you, you can just uh, just imagine just from the premise alone that you know what Hitchcock would do if you haven't seen this film. Um, and I don't really want to go into complete specifics of it on the off chance you haven't um, um but again as i said this is like uh, one of the more uh, better known films that he made throughout the 1930s um you know by the 1940s he definitely got uh, uh very very popular um and this is a film i think that you know really shows just how great uh, of a director, especially with thrillers, that Hitchcock uh, is and would be uh, uh, very well known for. Um, uh, uh, the suspense is done very well. Um, uh, I just, uh, I don't know, this is a... Again, you know, there's so much yeah, I want to say, and yet I don't know exactly where to begin. Um, I guess with Robert Donat, uh, he does a great job as Richard Haney. Um, uh, an incredible actor overall. Uh, not just, you know, in this film, I mean, of course he is in this, but also just in his car uh, just career. Um, he was just a great actor, and he's perfect for this kind of part of a man who was accused of murder, he didn't do it, has to try and convince uh, people that he didn't do it and just 
how he's going to get it out of everything is uh, is just truly in, uh, incredible to watch, and he plays the part so well. Um, Madeline Carroll is also fantastic. Um, you know, uh, she's met like early in the film, like a train that they're on, and then uh, they meet later and to pose as a married couple and yeah it's just just everything that goes on and then what the we find out what the 39 steps is um uh it's, it's just it's just very uh, uh incredible um this uh this uh, edition is is uh Great documentary about the Alfred Hitchcock's early years, um, you know, before the war, like World War II. Um, original footage of broadcaster Mike Scott's 1966 uh, television interview with Hitchcock. Um, complete broadcast of the 1937 Lux Radio Theater adaptation uh, starring Ada Lupino and... Uh, Robert Montgomery, a new visual essay by uh, Hitchcock scholar uh, Leonard Leaf, and just like the uh, <coughs> uh, the man with no name. There's another excerpt from Francisco uh, uh, Fufo, uh, 1962 interview he uh, had with Hitchcock, um, and of course there's a commentary um you know the criterion uh, does a excellent job um with these with the, this film and it was really uh, uh excellent to see again um you know i mean i could praise every performance honestly in this but you know for what they did there how great of a job they do in this film um but donat and carol of course are uh, very front and center, Donat especially from beginning to end. Um, Carol is, uh, you know, Madeline Carroll is excellent. Um, very beautiful too. Um, uh, you know, very much a uh, Hitchcockian blonde woman who, you know, you all know that. Uh, he often had blondes in his films, you know. Uh, and there they are, um, handcuffed together. Um, very pivotal scene, and of course, uh, it's like the sheriff. Uh, with the, the top of his uh, finger missing, uh, the tip. I guess. Very important uh, to the plot of the film. Um, just rewatching these uh, early Hitchcock films just really uh, uh, shows just how incredible of a director he uh, was, and how he grew over the years, and how he kept getting better and better. And, um, uh, and honestly, it really uh, makes me appreciate uh, his work even more. Um, You know, we we all know of like a films like Vertigo, Rear Window, Psycho, The Birds, um, North by Northwest, um, and so many other excellent uh, uh, films he's, he made. Um, also, Rebecca in the forties, uh, and Rope, um, and The Man Who Knew Too Much, of course. But you know, Thirty Nine Steps is a great film uh, had you uh, have you not ever seen the film i think uh, it's worth watching if you like classic films if you like alfred hitchcock it's definitely worth um uh, checking out just to see uh, what this movie's about it's definitely uh, regarded as a classic and uh, i believe it's uh, has that 
it accurately has that term. You know, it's it's one that you know where sometimes classic films are often just sort of like it could seem like they're just thrown about here and there, and then you watch a movie that's deemed a classic, and you just wonder what. Um, like it's either it's not all that great, or might be good, but maybe not uh, deemed as a classic in, in any sense. Um, but, uh, excellent thriller. Um, since the man who uh, wrote the original book uh, also wrote uh, North by Northwest, perhaps I will talk about that at some point. Um, uh, of course, I want to... <clears throat> get through all of these uh, Hitchcock uh, films I have from Criterion collection and uh, of course well, next week will be The Lady Vanishes um, I can't wait to talk about that um, yeah, excellent movie um, honestly I know I didn't talk too much about it compared to The Man who knew too much, though. Uh, yeah, it's just like, you know, you sometimes there's just only so much you can really say that hasn't been said before. Um, and this is one of those films, you know, it's it's an excellent movie. Um, if you like Hitchcock, it's a fantastic Hitchcock, Hitchcock film. If you like thrillers, it's a great thriller. Um, spy film also and also a bit of a mystery you know what's the 39 steps uh, you find out of course by the end of the film but you know considering that is a catalyst along with the woman uh Haney meets in the beginning of the film who was then killed was stabbed uh, in the back and uh by the assassins and um and that whole thing just generated by everybody is at this uh, uh, use a call uh, where man uh, Mr. Memory is gonna he knows so many things and you ask him any question he'll answer it um, like he makes sure to know 50 things every single day something new and uh, if anybody asks a question you know able to give it in that uh, he, he plays a very uh, integral part uh, at the very end of the film and uh, yeah the woman who was killed in the beginning that uh, Haiti is framed for uh, fires a gun to make everyone get out of there um, but yeah uh, excellent movie um I would recommend it to anybody who likes Hitchcock films, spy films, thrillers. Also, there's some mystery elements there, of course. Um, but yeah, it's a, a very well done film. Uh, Hitchcock showed that he was just very, very talented. Um, though he always did that. Um, even some of the films that might not be very good or uh, praised as much as others. You know, even then, you know, he does a very good job directing, at least. Um, all the various Hitchcock films I've seen, uh, there's many. Um, I can't remember one where I thought the direction was bad. You know, he's you know, usually good. Um, and he's definitely excellent here. Um, for that uh, casting, the actors, the actresses, and um, the sets and everything. Just everything, um, and this is just fantastic. Um, uh, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed uh, rewatching this film. Um, but, you know, I mean, um, I'm sure there's many who haven't seen this, and so you know, I don't want to just go into every single detail on the off chance you know, I might spoil something. Um, but you know. It's definitely worth a watch, uh, at least once, just to see what it's like. Um, 
this is definitely a Hitchcock classic, and um, yeah, it's definitely worthy of that title. I would, uh, I would say. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, there's so much to say, and yet, what can I say that hasn't been said? I don't know. It's probably best to just end it uh, there. Um, great film, uh, great story and characters and performances uh, all around. Um, I'm curious, though, as to what the book would be like, so uh, perhaps one day I'll uh, get the book just to see uh, what that's like, what was all kept uh, from the original source material into the film, and also what was changed. Um, Sometimes changes are necessary, and other times it's like, it makes you wonder why not to include this, um, like plot point or that plot point. Though, of course, you know, uh, you know, depending on everything that goes on in the book, uh, within this story, what one could perhaps guess without reading it, there could be some stuff back uh, that were written into the book that would not be able to be filmed. Like, uh, in the 1935 when this film came out, um, so they have to change certain things just because of that, though. Again, I haven't read the book, so I could be completely wrong on that. Um, but, yeah, I enjoy this film, and I, uh, well, no doubt to rewatch this again sometime. Um, anyway. I hope all of you are having a great day. Hope you're all uh, will have a great weekend and a great week. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.